In this video we're going to look at how to first of all find the prime factors of a number and then express a number as the product of its primes. Before we do that you need to be confident about identifying whether a number is a prime or not. Let's start with 45. What pairs of factors can you think of which uh, multiply to make 45? So hopefully the obvious one we start off with is 45 times 1. So you've got two factors already. Can you think of any more? Let's see, it definitely uh, has 5 as a factor because it ends in 5. And 45 is in fact 5 times 9. So we can stop there. We've already got more than two factors. So it's not a prime number. What about the next one? What about 31? So same again, what pairs of factors go together? We've always got the first two, the number itself and one, but are there any others? Two's not a factor, is three a factor? If we add them up, three add one, that's not a multiple of three, so three's not a factor. If two's not a factor, no even numbers are, in fact, 31 has only got two factors. It's a prime. Let's try another one. How about 68? You can see straight away 68 divides by 2. So as well as 68 and 1, it's got a, at least, well, two more factors. And well, what about 57? That's got 1 and 57. But can we think of any more factors? Well, it's not an even, so it doesn't divide by 2. 2 is not a factor, but 3. What about 3? If we add the digits together, it gives us 12. That's a multiple of 3. So 3 is a factor. So because 3 is a factor, we've got more than 2 factors. It's not a prime. If we're happy with finding prime numbers, let's go on and express a number as a product of its primes. So first of all, 20. What's 20 as a product of its prime factors? So to help us do this, we're going to draw a tree diagram. So we start with 20, then we divide it into a pair of factors that multiply to make it. So a nice easy one to start off with is we know it multiplies by, sorry, we know 2 is a factor. And so it's 2 times 10. 2 is a prime number. So I'm going to circle that and the tree stops or that branch stops at the 2. But 10 is not a prime. So what can we divide that into? It's 5 times 2. 2 is a prime and five is a prime as well. So we've completed the tree diagram. We can now write down that 20 is a product of those three prime factors. I'm gonna put them in order, two, two and five. Or we can write using index notation oops, times five. Let's look at another one. 60. What 60 is a product of its primes? Well, first of all, we start with 60. Really right. Two factors. We could try three this time. Three times 20. Three is a prime. So a branch stops there. What about 20? 10 times 2? 10 is not a prime, but 2 is. 10 5 times 2. And they're both primes. Notice that as I've drawn the tree diagram, I've not tried to do 1 times anything, because that won't help us at all. That will just keep us with the same number. So, we've got our primes. And so we can say 60 equals... Or using index notation... And there we've written two numbers 
as a product of its prime factors.